There are more than 10,000 species of birds in the world, ranging from small to large, colorful to plain, and flying to flightless. However, some birds are now so rare that even experienced bird watchers and scientists have trouble finding them. Many species are experiencing dwindling numbers, and while breeding them in captivity can help save them from the brink of extinction, some birds are harder to rescue than others. Here is a summary of 12 of the most beautiful and rare species of birds. Number 1. Andean Cock of the Rock The Andean Cock of the Rock is a large passerine bird of the Caatinga family native to Andean cloud forests in South America. It is widely regarded as the national bird of Peru. It's one of the most spectacular birds, with strikingly bright colors. Spotting this beautiful bird is not very common, though, as they're extremely shy and don't usually fly near humans. It's notable that both the sexes look very different, the most spectacular being the males, they have large, disc-like crests and bright orange plumage, black wings, and orange to yellow bill, while the females are much darker, usually brown, and their crest is much smaller and their beaks are brown with a yellow tip. The Andean cock of the rock is usually about 32 centimeters long, males being larger than females. Even though it is being affected by destruction of its habitat, the Andean cock of the rock is not classified as threatened. Number 2. Turquoise Brad Motmut Another bird full of stunning colors, the turquoise brad motmut can be found in the tropical areas of South America, although the origins of the bird trace back to Switzerland. They live in the thick rain forests where they try to blend in with their bright colors to hide from prey. Its plumage is extremely soft and it has a tail that can move in any direction. Unlike most bird species, where only males express elaborate traits, the turquoise brad motmut expresses the extraordinary racket tail in both sexes. Number 3. Kakako. The kakapo or the owl parrot is one of the strangest and rarest nocturnal parrots in the world. This bird does not fly, but happens to be one of the longest living birds. These parrots are also very heavy and large, reaching a weight of about 7.7 pounds and a height of about 24 inches. Kakapos are common in New Zealand, and they are known to be extremely smart animals. Unfortunately, the kakapo is nearly extinct and is considered critically endangered by many bird specialists. The kakapo was historically important to the Māori, the indigenous people of New Zealand, appearing in many of their traditional legends in folklore, however it was also heavily hunted and used as a resource by Māori, both for its meat as a food source and for its feathers, which were used to make highly valued pieces of clothing. Kakapos were also occasionally kept as pets. Number 4. Quetzal. The Quetzal is found throughout the mountainous rainforests of Central America where they tend to prefer high mountain ranges at altitudes of between 4,000 and 10,000 feet. Historically, they were sacred to the Mayan and Aztec people, who believed that the Quetzal was the god of air, and they used their green tail feathers in spiritual ceremonies. Quetzals are beautiful exotic birds and one of many Guatemala's treasures, but because of all the illegal hunting and the destruction of their habitat they are in the list of the to-be-extinct animals unless things change. In Guatemala it can be found in Baja Verapaz. Number 5. Great Curaso. The Great Curaso is a large, pheasant-like bird that resides in the rainforests of Mexico and Central America. This bird can reach an astounding length of 39 inches and can weigh over 15 pounds. The Great Curaso spends most of its time in treetops and nests at altitudes of up to 98 feet. The bird is very sensitive to human presence and will leave the area at the slightest indication of people. The Great Curaçao is threatened by loss of habitat and hunting, and the International Union for Conservation of Nature has rated its conservation status as vulnerable. Number 6. Watsin. The Watsin is another pheasant-sized bird found in the swamps, mangroves and forests of the Amazon in South America. They are also known as stink birds because they spend most of their time lounging on branches digesting their food. These birds have two claws on each of their wings, which they use for climbing trees and catching prey. This is a noisy species, with a variety of hoarse calls, including groans, croaks, hisses and grunts. These calls are often associated with body movements, such as wing spreading. Calls are used to maintain contact between individuals and groups, warn of threats and intruders and by chicks begging for food. Number 7. Indian Frogmouth. The Indian, or Sri Lankan, frogmouth lives in India and Sri Lanka in the depths of the tropical forests. The bird is known for its ability to blend into its surroundings and has remarkable camouflage abilities. This bird is called a frogmouth because it has a very wide mouth. 
This frogmouth is rarely seen during the day except at roost sites or when flushed. It regularly uses the same roost spot for months. When alarmed at its perch, it slowly moves its head, pointing its bill upward, and it can easily be mistaken for a jagged, broken branch. It relies on this crypsis and will often sit still a long time before making an escape. Number 8. Ribbon-tailed Astrapia. Sometimes called the black bird of paradise. One of the most spectacular birds of paradise, the male ribbon-tailed Astrapia has the longest tail feathers in relation to body size of any bird, over three times the length of its body. The ribbon-tailed Astrapia's existence was discovered in 1939 when researchers spotted its unusually thin and long tail feathers on the hat of an aborigine in New Guinea. The length of their tail feathers can reach up to 39 inches and are always white in males, posing a strong contrast to their velvet black bodies and olive green frontal plumage. Because the species is hunted for its feathers, it is considered near-threatened by nature specialists. Number 9. Long-waddled Umbrella Bird. The umbrella bird can be found in very limited areas of western Colombia and Ecuador and reaches an impressive size of about 20 inches, making it easy prey for hunters. The long-waddled umbrella bird gains its name from the rather bizarre and striking features of the male of the species. Males have an unusual 14-inch throat sac covered in feathers that resemble scales. During the mating period, the sac is inflated to attract females, with a low cry that sounds similar to a growl and bleat. They are also considered a vulnerable species by conservation specialists. Number 10. Long-tailed widow bird. The long-tailed widow bird is a common species in the savannas and plains of South Africa. Males have a very long tail feather that reaches a length of about 20 inches. During flight, they spread their plumage to attract females. The birds are polygamous, and on average there are about 5 females per family group. Riot Vlame Nature Reserve near Irene and Marie Vale Bird Sanctuary are excellent spots to photograph these majestic birds. Number 11. Greater Bird of Paradise. The Birds of Paradise are a group of birds that are found in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia, mainly in the jungles of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea and parts of Eastern Australia. Birds of Paradise are known to be the most dramatic and attractive birds in the world. The brightly colored plumage of the male birds of paradise contains colors ranging from red, to yellow, to green and along with their unique dance moves, the male birds of paradise really stand out on the forest floor. The beautiful, bright colors of the birds of paradise have made these birds a highly prized target for hunters and tribesmen alike who use the brightly colored feathers of the birds of paradise to create clothes and costumes. Birds of paradise are also being continually threatened by deforestation and habitat loss. Number 12. Mandarin Duck Mandarin Duck is a close relative of North American Wood Duck. This beautiful bird can be found in Eastern Asia, China, Russia, Europe, and certain parts of North America. Mandarin Ducks usually feed during dawn and at dusk. They spend most of the rest of the day perching atop trees near the water bodies. Their wings are large compared to their body sizes, and hence they are able to swiftly take off from the water during times of danger. In traditional Chinese culture, Mandarin ducks are believed to be lifelong couples, unlike other species of ducks. Hence they are regarded as a symbol of conjugal affection and fidelity, and are frequently featured in Chinese art.